Hugh, why don't we get into it? So they made a hire. They actually hired somebody from State Street. What does this person do, and what does this yeah. bank want to do with quantum computing? Yeah, that's right, Frank. So, you know, J.P. Morgan has, for the past five years or so, had an internal group that conducted research into emerging technologies like quantum computing that could solve problems in finance. So Marco Pisto was the former IBM inventor who led the group since 2020, who's recently left the bank, according to people with knowledge of the situation. One of his deputies, Charles Lim, who led the bank's global head for quantum communications and cryptography, has also left. The new leader that we just talked about of the research group is a guy named Rob Otter, okay? And he's, according to the J.P. Morgan memo that I obtained, uh, is a veteran of the tech industry. He was most recently at State Street uh, as global head of digital technology and quantum computing. And before that, he actually led J.P. Morgan's blockchain business. So um, the move where you are seeing, you know, you're going from essentially two uh, academics, people who are really respected in the scientific community and who... You know, uh, Marco Pisto, for instance, had about 280 patents to his name. It was pretty impressive. To going to, f from those academics to people who, to a person who's seen as more sort of commercially minded, uh, it's seen as a possible sign uh, for that J.B. Morgan wants to accelerate its efforts to, for, you know, to find commercial uses for this research and technology, Frank. All right. So I think a lot of companies are trying to find, as you just mentioned, commercial uses for quantum technology. Uh, when it comes to discovering drugs, we've heard the, the CEO of Sandbox AQ tell us it can help yeah. speed up drug discovery. Um, cybersecurity companies are looking at it as a way to kind of bolster cybersecurity defenses against hackers. What does a bank need quantum computing for? Like, what problem are they trying to figure out? Is it going to help with trading, um, better investment ideas, risk? I mean, what area could it even be used for? Yeah. Yeah, that's it's a fascinating question, Frank. So there, there are, you know, what I would consider pretty boring uh, applications like portfolio optimization, things like that, uh, you know, fraud detection, other things like, uh, you know, in terms of, of defense. I, I think the most revolutionary reason why banks like J.P. Morgan really want to be involved with this is that if you actually had a quantum computer, you could break uh, effectively the world's encryption. And so you have a case where I'm told that there are nation states who are you know, caching, holding on to, uh, you know, encrypted uh, data uh, with the hopes that one day they'll be able to break the encryption uh, once in 15 or 20 years, as Jensen Huang said, we, we actually have a quantum computer. So, you know, if, if this day is coming, if the quantum moment is coming, banks like JP Morgan, who obviously, you know, are a store, a store and a, a protector of tons of, of financial information, really have to get ahead of that and have to be able to defend against those attacks.